guys, Dave here again, JDH Reptiles. Welcome to the channel. Today, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Shane at Small Town Exotics. Haven't been doing a lot of shout outs lately. Uh, that's my bad, I apologize. I'm gonna break out the t-shirts and every video we're gonna start giving everybody shout outs again. So if you'd like to get a shout out, if you got a shirt, hat, whatever the case may be and you wanna send it on through, give me a shout, leave a comment below or you can email me at jdhreptilesgmail.com and I'll give you an address, send me a shirt or we could trade shirts, whatever the case may be and uh, you'll be in one of our upcoming videos. Moving on to this year, the way the season has played out. Uh, I will do a comprehensive video here, you know, probably about a month from now, maybe six weeks. We have one clutch left in the incubator. Uh, that clutch gets cut this weekend, and that is it. I don't foresee any other clutches being laid at all this season. So, looks like 2020 season is a wrap, or just about there. Uh, like I said, about another week to go. We'll cut those uh, eggs, give them a week or two in the incubator, let them come out, get them into their tubs, and then that's about it. Um, the great part about this is we start doing uh, ultrasounding here in like two weeks. So we start ultrasounding females, checking their follicle growth, looking for follicle development, and then we start breeding again. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, this year it was it was a real kick in the teeth, let's be honest. Uh, we ended up having 19 clutches. Six of them didn't make it. We have one slug out and the other five just didn't make it through incubation. We had horrible incubation this year. Um, kinks, missing eyes, etc. cetera. Uh, matter of fact, a clutch update to come up, we'll go through that entire blackhead clutch. And it's, it's a doozy, guys, let me tell you. But we're gonna do, like I said, a comprehensive video that'll go over you know, the amount of babies we produced, the deformities, what we found, what we didn't find, um, you know, eggs we lost on. It really just kind of hone in and wrap up exactly what happened this year, what we can figure out might have happened this year. <clears throat> but next season, the 2021 season, uh, I'm hoping right around 35 girls will go. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a few more. Uh, maybe if we're unlucky, we'll get a few less. But in that 30 to 40 range would be amazing. Be great to get that going. We got the big incubator up and running. I just need to make my shelves and get my egg boxes. And I still haven't decided on egg boxes. Either think about going with the, uh, the seal top boxes or using just standard shoe boxes with uh, press and seal over the top. Again, I haven't decided which way I'm gonna go. I do need to figure that out pretty soon though. I think once I get the shelves in there, I'll do some measuring and see how I can maximize the amount of usage with tubs uh, because I wanna make sure if we're gonna have, let's say up to 40 uh, clutches, that I can fit 40 clutches in it. It's a large incubator, but the inside dimensions actually are kind of small. So again, just gonna see what we can do there. Uh, but I do want to take a moment to show you guys a couple bangers that we got this season. And, and like I said, we're going to go through all of them again. But some that really speak to me, they're, they're amazing. Things I wanted to produce. Um, and, and I'm going to show them to you really quick here. And we can um, kind of enjoy those together. Alright guys, so I couldn't start this without showing you this girl, or this boy here. This is our Lesser Mojave Scaleless. Uh, I only had one scaleless clutch. I had a couple scaleless head clutches. This is my one only scaleless clutch. Uh, we did hit four scaleless animals, one of them being this blue eyed leucistic here, and one scaleless head. Um, so, this one here again is a lesser Mojave, possible gold blush, scaleless. It's a male. We did hold it back. And eventually down the road, he will be a breeder for us. Just a beautiful animal. I will say, I don't know if you can see this or not, but man, do they get dirty. You know, kind of like your hands when you touch things that are dirty and they get dirty. Same thing here. Uh, I've washed this animal with a paper towel and some water and yeah, uh, just a little bit of dried poop. 
And um, unfortunately, being all white, as you know, even with scaleless or with the scaled animals, they get dirty. No difference here. But their skin is like velvet. They are so beautiful. And this boy is no different. Amazing animal, great eater. All the scaleless are such great eaters. If it's something you're looking to get into, I have three beautiful scaleless animals that are available this year we're not keeping. Send me a message, I'll give you some information. But yeah, this one here is gonna stay and eventually hopefully be a little breeder for us. All right guys, and the next one I had to show you was this beautiful pastel lorry. Now you know I, I worked the lorry gene this year. I had three clutches. Um, and she lorry to a cinnamon lorry. And then we had an Enchi lorry to an albino black pewter. And then we had the Enchi lorry to a pastel girl. So this one came from that pastel Enchi lorry breeding. Now we did find out, we did gear, uh, figure out that Enchi and lorry are allelic. So everything comes out either lorry or Enchi. So this is not an Enchi, it is a lorry pastel. Beautiful animal. Uh, we did hold this one back. We sold all of our lorry stuff. Just so you know, it all sold before it hit Morph Market. Um, it was so hot this year. We, we smoked the odds, we did amazing. Um, we, we held back this one here. We held back three super lorries. Actually, one might be a cinnamon lorry. And then I held back a couple lorry head albinos. But yeah, just amazing. I love the way these came out. I couldn't be happier. Just beautiful. I'm gonna mention a Super Lori. I might as well show it off. Here is the Super Lori. I mean, just look at that animal. Absolutely crazy. We did hit a pastel, a uh, black pastel Lori is what it appeared to be. Unfortunately, it was severely deformed. If you followed our videos when we did that egg cutting, you'd see that. Um, we're gonna do that pairing again this year. I really want to see if I can hit that animal because it would also be 100% head albino. Just an amazing animal to have for the future. Um, if we have the same odds, then obviously I won't do it anymore. But we had so many incubation issues this year that I had to stack it up to be an incubating issues for the time being. But yeah, hopefully we'll make some more of these this coming year as well. This one here is a male. And uh, man, is he growing and getting up to size. I would love to see him breeding some girls late this 21 season. We'll see. He might get the chance to, to breed one girl. We'll see. All right, guys. So I'm not going to show you all the animals that, I, that we, we held back and the amazing animals. I want you to come back for that update video that we're going to do. Like I said, probably six weeks or so from now, once all of our hatching is shut out, Everything we wanted to sell has moved out because we only got a handful left to sell um, and we've sold out for the year. Again, whatever is in this clutch coming up, uh, that'll determine that because I think we had seven or eight eggs. There was a um, scaleless head gold blush Mojave to a pastel Enchi female. So really hoping to get Enchi, you know, even pastel and Enchi into the gold blush and the Mojave. And of course, scaleless head. If we hit scaleless head, it would be amazing. Uh, but but after that, and we get them all hitched, and we get them shed and fed, you know, anything we're not keeping once we get moved out, then I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna go over everything we did. How many clutches, how many failed clutches, what my problem I feel was uh, with the animals that we did hatch, what was our success rate. Just like we did last year, we'll go over the entire year. And I'll let you know where I feel uh, we stumbled where we could have made some improvements and where we're going to take from this year and build for next year uh, and hopefully we can um, try and lessen the the issues that we had this year so hope you enjoyed this video I know it was just a little bit of talk and a little bit of snakes but I really wanted to put this out I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea how stoked I am uh, for not only the fact we're, we're ending with this year we got one more clutch to go but then it is time to start breeding again. I'm so excited. I uh, can't wait to get the girls in, moving around with the boys and, and tell you guys our plans and what we got going on for next year. We've got so many sweet pairings set up. 
uh, look at it hopefully with a lot of success uh, some fingers crossed hopefully we'll have an amazing year and produce some amazing animals not only to hold back but obviously for you guys as well so take care guys appreciate your love and support make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already share a video or two watch a couple videos if you would uh, that'll help with our click rates as well as uh, our hours that we need and uh, till next video have a fun one we'll see you later guys